hello and welcome to another interesting video now we want to take a look at exploring the color palette the color palette is just right on the left as you can see this is the color palette with, with variety of colors once you click the slide will appear you can see the slide bar appearing and you click and drag to move to any preferable color that you want and once that is done you go to this full area to select the particular saturation for that color so once you click on that that is left click you can also click to drag or you go to any particular area to left click and you have the exact saturation for that particular color which you have chosen within this palette okay good so now you will also notice that there are f1 f2 up to f8 those are shortcut for choosing and the color in this first row of these little boxes that is where you can fill it you can fill any of these little boxes with your own preferred color let's say we want to fill the very box beneath the shortcut f8 all you need to do is to right click your mouse button to save that you see good so you right click the mouse button you choose the current color okay let's pick another color please okay i think this is good so we want to fill this in in the box beneath the f7 shortcut okay so you you do that by right clicking on your mouse button you see that good let's quickly take another color let's see this time around something red good then I want to move the saturation yeah so the the next box you right click and you have that particular box filled in you can do this with all the boxes that are in here there are 24 of these boxes and the essence of customizing these boxes is that first it makes your project to be well organized and attractive and there seems to be a consistency in your video okay good then another second thing is that it saves you time like each time you need to come to the color palette choose the sat particular saturation that you want so if you have on your own choose perfect colors you can just have your first eight perfect colors right at the first row. the reason is that these shortcuts that we have from f1 to f8 if you press any of the shortcuts you get that color beneath that shortcut for instance for f8 all you just need to do once you press the f8 it, it picks the color right below f8 let's see f8 you see that then f7 do you see that good then f6 do you see how it's changing the color this same color palette is what you will use to change the color of the text is not just the color of the writing but the color of the text or anything at all that is going to appear on the foreground of the canvas you know so the color that is appearing on the canvas is the foreground color why the canvas itself is the background color all right good so this is all you need to know about the color palette all right good thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye